Myself together. All right. This here. Is this on silent? Yes. Who's on the podcast after I think I am. Everybody has their passions okay, cool. in life. With some pace. Pace and space. Pace and space. Pace. Originally had a shirt and tie until the weather started raining. Yeah. I actually ran. Celtics Post Up is presented by Eastern Propane and Oil. They're in your neighborhood. Welcome into Celtics Post Up. He's Chris Forsberg. I am Amina Smith. Some interesting things on today's show. We got Eddie House teaching Tom Curran how to perfect his jumper. And Grant Williams, <laughs> also the new nickname, Batman. We decide if it mm. actually sticks. Mm. But before we get to all of that, let's take a look at this perfect trick out west for the Celtics. Smart threads the needle and one. Oh my goodness. Those two have been the men of the match tonight. There's the double on Tatum. We haven't seen much of it against Pritchard. A clean look. Peyton Pritchard with back to back threes just what the Celtics needed. Tonight they come to San Francisco and for the sixth time in seven years they beat the Warriors on their home floor. One on one equals three. Gosh. All three. Jalen the step back. Tatum and Harper found the view out. Always fun. Grant Williams erases the MVP. And the Celtic fans in the building getting louder and louder. Tatum back. Demoralizing. Tatum wants it. Got it. Richard doesn't want a two for one. He just wants three. And the Celtics, again, are just beating teams. They are beating teams up. Jalen drawing ooze, Oz, and another bucket. And these guys are just too good right now. They are just too much for the league. This is oh, what I'm talking about. My goodness. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> the dark knight. 
I tell you what, he's playing like Batman right now. He said, what now? Where they go? Where they going, Scott? Right there. Right there. Okay. I'm about to say, here they come. Where they going? Comes off the screen, pulls up for three. Oh, my goodness. Falls down, does not matter. What type of level is he on right now, Scott? His own level. Yeah. Jason Tatum level. <laughs> Jason Tatum on his own level indeed. Time now for bringing the heat brought to you by Eastern Propane and Oil. There in your neighborhood, the Celtics brought the heat and the pain to their opponents on this four game road trip going 4-0 while making it look so easy. Let's get to Forsberg's four and Forsberg, I'm thinking this week, it's easy to pick four things to talk about with this Celtics. Oh yeah, I actually had to start parsing it down. I was like, I could have come up with a Forsberg eight this week, but <laughs> it's only a half hour program, so they made me keep it tight. So, and it starts with that road dominance that you brought up. 26.8, which is the average margin of their biggest lead in all these games. They were up by 24 in Golden State, 29 in Sacramento, Ooh. 28 in Denver, and 26 in Oklahoma City. I mean, wasn't this team perpetually down? Like, it felt like they started every game down 10-0. Oh, the they the were season. like down 20 <laughs> at, at most of the games at the beginning of the season. For and sure. now, as, as our little graphic says, they are kicking butt and taking names because they just come out and dominate teams. And it starts with the starters, but now there's no let up because the bench is playing great. And it just feels like this team isn't just satisfied with winning. They want to impose their will. They went out west and literally just kicked everyone's butt. Yeah, that's exactly what they did out west. All right, what do you have coming in at number two? Um, speaking of kicking butt, number two is 138.5. That is Jason Tatum's offensive rating on the court during this trip. And, I mean, we could run this highlight package through the entirety of post-up today because it's all him just getting buckets, driving to the basket and finishing, step back threes. I mean, just everything from Jason Tatum. Hammers while the MVP gets out of the way. Mm. So, here's the thing. Like, the Celtics offensive ha hasn't been particularly crisp. It's been a little bit of a roller coaster all season long. It's my one concern with this team in a playoff series. And yet, when this guy plays the way he has lately, an MVP level, they are a legitimate contender. And here's the thing, when he was off the court, that offensive rating dove to 89. Ooh. That is a 49.5 points per 100 possession swing without Jason Tatum. He is putting the Celtics on his back and saying, let me carry you as far as we can go. Honestly, I just wanted to see that dunk on Jokic just mm. over and over again. That I would have been satisfied decision. with that. Jokic was like, Business ahead. decision, exactly, step it out of the way. All right, what do you have coming in at number three? Number three is 61.5 which is what Peyton Pritchard shot beyond the three-point arc for the four-game trip. And this is just great to see because Peyton came out at the start of the year with 7 of 28 to start. It felt like he just didn't have the same confidence, the same desire to, like, the, the, like when he came in his rookie year, he was just so good. It was like, what's going on with Peyton? Sophomore slump, Dennis Schroeder was here and clogging things up. Well, now we've seen PP find his confidence out west, and it's just great because I think especially with Jason Tatum out there, it's just such a lethal combination. All this attention on guys like Tatum and Brown and even Derek White, a willing ball mover, and all of a sudden Peyton Pritchard is getting all these open looks, and more importantly, he's knocking him down. Made all nine in the two middle games of this trip. Felt like he might not miss the rest of the season at one point. Good on Peyton Pritchard for staying ready and inv taking advantage when that opportunity came. Yeah, I'm glad that Peyton Pritchard really got a swagger back out there on the court and paying dividends for this Celtics <laughs> team down the stretch. All right, last but not least, what do you got for well, us? Well, we have to go with Batman, right? Of so course, yeah. minus 8.6 for the, uh, someone's called them the dork night, the and dork I think that is <laughs> perfect. So we might want to run with that one instead. But Grant Williams trying to nickname himself out west. And you know what? When you block the Joker. Oof. And then you come out, and the next night you go for a 20 and 10 and have maybe your best game as a pro in a spot start. You can pick your nickname for a day or two. You can't keep it long term. We'll get into that. But he held opponents to minus 8.6% below their expected field goal percentage during this trip. Minus 5.9 on all sh shots inside of six feet. And that's crazy when you think about the level of defense he had to play against guys like Jokic and mm -hmm. switching. He had to guard guards, and then he had to guard the perimeter. And like, G Grant Williams has been a super reliable defender in all facets this year, but I thought especially out west he showed how valuable he can be and why he's one of the first guys off the bench and why, in a pinch, you can throw him in there with the starting lineup. Just don't let him make his own nickname. I, look, I, I'm not mad at the nickname, but when you're performing <laughs> like that out there on the court, you can call yourself whatever you want to mm -hmm. call yourself this season. All right, let's get into Kicks of the Week and Jason Tatum. The star of Kicks of the Week was his Air Jordan 36 PEs right here. The no Ooh. block, but actually full of 
love guac. I feel like because this is an all green <laughs> shoe, the taco J is happening. I feel like when you say it's no guac, you gotta have like a different color shoe for Spurs. So uh, you were saying like, is he really trying to make this his nickname? And yeah, at the start of his career, Jay would come out and he would just have tacos on his Instagram all the time. And it was mm. just beef and cheese. And now, I mean, there was no, definitely no guac on them, but I do love these shoes. The no no guac, extra guac, whatever you want to call this, does have some Celtics <laughs> flavor with the green in it. And uh, yeah, I mean, those are those are a sexy piece of. Uh, lo looks like they're Chipotle approved. Chipotle <laughs> approved. I like it. I feel like it's all guac when you take a look at those shoes right there. But we got to get them into some different types of foods other than tacos. <laughs> I would say that. All right, let's take a break here on Celtics Post Up. Plenty more coming up after the break. Grant Williams has taken his game to new heights this season, but all the talk has been about his new nickname, Batman. We take a look at the origin story and more after the break. Celtics Post Up is presented by Eastern Propane and Oil. They're in your neighborhood. Offensive rebounds out for Denver. Oh, oh, Grant off. Williams erases the MVP. Grant did a great job. He wanted me to tell the media he wanted his nickname to be Batman. Now, I said, I don't know about that one, Grant. Grant wanted his nickname to be 